their wheelchairs. But you see, uh, and, and then the accident happened. Now I'm in the hospital, lying there, and they are they are in, introducing me to the to my new wheelchair. That was that was n not very easy for me to take because I had been believing that I'm gonna take out take out people out of wheelchairs. I'm not gonna be riding in it. Understand? So. Uh, so there was a bit of a of a re, of a rejection uh, from my side of the wheelchair, but I've learned uh, to 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 see the wheelchair differently because I need it at the moment. <laughs> from Eben and Fabi. Today's video is going to be titled Why I'm on a wheelchair or Why I'm a wheelchair user. Why this question? Well, this was one of the questions I needed to answer for myself um, when I found out the, after the accident that I could not, I would not be able to walk again. Uh, and that I will be, I will be uh, confined to the use of a wheelchair uh, because of my Christian faith. Then I had to, I, I was puzzled by why would that happen to me, coming from a background of, uh, of, uh, of a belief that the belief that Christians are not supposed to uh, to to be um, sick in a permanent way or. In seemingly permanent way and uh, even if they are sick and or if they are uh, uh, attacked in a pem in a way seem a pem uh, seemingly pe permanent that they will just shake themselves like Samson and just stand up you know sort of and this was also a question that um, my fellow uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord would ask me and um, it was in the same attitude, you know. Why are you still on the wheelchair? You know, some would ask me, when are you, when are you gonna walk again? You know, when are you gonna stand up out of this thing, get out of this thing, and just walk again? You know, it was a, a regular question. You know, I would say I would get it every, um, maybe every once a month. Also, I wanna deal with the, the question with the superstitions surrounding the, the question of why Christians, uh, some Christians get sick or most Christians get sick throughout their, their life and why sickness uh, come to Christians even though they are uh, recreated or they are born again and, and all that. So uh, that is why I am going to, to deal on that, on, those, on that question. A disclaimer, uh, well the reasons that I'm, I'm going to, to share here, they are my reasons, uh, they are my researches and my understanding and my revelations of why I or any person like me would be on a wheelchair and they, they may not be necessarily of uh, the reasons that everyone out there are on the wheelchair. So just a disclaimer to, to not uh, categorize everyone uh, in one um, in one sort of category. Uh, I'm not on the wheelchair because uh, God is teaching, he has put me on the wheelchair and he's teaching me some lesson. Uh, as you know from James chapter 1 verse, uh, verse 13, we, we learn from the Bible that uh, God does not test people with evil. And we are tested. With, we we test ourselves, or we go through evil when we are enticed by our own sin. And as you are going to see, also, as I'm going to answer my, my, my as I'm going to share my views um, concerning why I'm on a wheelchair, you will see how uh, he, how how that uh, scripture came into play. Uh, it's not God's way of teaching me a lesson, uh, according to Romans chapter eight, verse twenty. It says, um, and we know that all things work together for good to them that are that love God, and to them who are called 
according to his purpose. So even though this is not God's uh, uh, way of teaching me and putting me down to teach me some lesson, God also uses uh, the bad and the good in our life to, 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 to grow us uh, and to, to bring us to a place where we will be more, uh, more matured in terms of spiritual maturity uh, and so that we can also prosper in life. You see, uh, sometimes uh, as, a, as, a, as a child of God, you know, uh, you, the, the, there's a slumber that comes upon you, a certain relaxation that comes upon you that you can no longer uh, listen to God. And you can no longer hear his voice. Uh, this happens a lot in our in our recent um, modern life that is so busy uh, that it does not allow any uh, any any space for spiritual growth. It does not allow any space for fasting, for example. It doesn't allow any time for uh, the reading of scriptures and the meditation of scriptures. There's so many problems to meditate on. There's so many problems. Uh, and and work stuff to to, to to think on and to talk about that we don't have time to, to to put in the recreative word of God in our hearts for us to be able to move victoriously in life and also um, and these reasons why I'm on a wheelchair do not include the fact that God is probably cursing me because of my past sins because that's a lie God does not do that God will not curse me because of my past sins because he sent his uh, his son for the for the blessing of my life even though I am I was born in sin and I'm a sinner God has sent his son Jesus Christ that that if I believe in him I will receive the blessing of life so the reason why I'm on a wheelchair does not include the fact that God has cursed me and, and that's the reason why I'm on a wheelchair. So, having said all that, I think I'm going to now move into the reasons why I think I'm on a wheelchair. So reason number one, the, the reason why I'm on a wheelchair is... Um, the medical reasons and the reason the medical reasons are two number one is the fact that um, in 2007 uh, uh, at the age of 21 I was involved in a car accident and my neck fractured at a C6 C6 uh, C7 legion it's just uh, a little bit below my neck and, uh, and, and, and a little bit above my back so uh, this left uh, this left me um, uh, not being able to use my fingers and my hands properly and also losing feeling and um, mobility from my chest all the way down to my uh, to my feet so that's reason number one that's medical reason number one why i am on a wheelchair it's because i was in a, in a car accident and in the later videos i will talk about uh, how that ordeal went so and then reason number two is also because of um, the stage we are as we are at as human being in our research concerning the, the healing of the spine you see uh, there was a time also in the past in, in, in the history where common flus and uh, diseases like TB would uh, kill people would uh, uh, flood all throughout the earth and, and really just uh, kill people but because of the human um, researchers uh, we came we, we found treatment and people are no longer uh, people are no longer being killed by common flus no longer being killed by diseases like um, TB and stuff 
even AIDS, you know, these days they have found um, ARVs that are able to elongate uh, the lives of people uh, even after diagnosed with AIDS. So I think that's the that's that's one of the reasons why I, I'm on a I'm on a wheelchair is because of the of the of the level of, um, of of our researches. We are not able to heal the spine. Having mentioned the two uh, medical reasons that um, I, I can think of right now, I, I will move on to some spiritual reasons why I'm on a wheelchair. So the spiritual reasons why I'm on a wheelchair is because of the sin uh, and evil in the world. Uh, our, when our four parents, Adam and Eve, had, had sinned and disobeyed God in the garden, uh, sin entered the world and because of that sin evil took uh, charge of the world and death reigned in the world so uh, this is why you see uh, a man growing old uh, and, and eventually dying all throughout history we see people get, uh, being born fresh having uh, uh, babe, uh, the, uh, baby skins that are very new and fresh and all that and then as they go through life they grow old uh, they grow old and begin to decay and lose uh, mobil move, lose mobility lose feeling and eventually die this is simply because of the sin that ended the world this is simply because of the evil that ended the world see romans chapter 5 verse 12 tells us that Therefore, a sin came into the world through one man, and death as a result of sin, so death spread to all men, and no, no one being able to stop it or to escape its power, because all men have sinned. So, uh, we, are, we are subjected to decay, we are subjected to evil because of, of, of one man Adam, uh, who who uh, gave over his power and his authority towards sin, towards the devil, and towards um, evil. So evil took hold of, of the world and began to spread its decay and corruption over it. So that's that's the reason why uh, my spine is not able to recreate. That is the reason why we constantly grow old. This is all evil uh, is also the reason why we see earthquakes and tsunamis and and um, tragedies that happen to people all throughout the, the world and really just uh, bringing havoc in the world. So the reason number one, the spiritual reason number one why I'm on a wheelchair is simply because of the evil in the world. This evil it does not take things personal. He uh, has decided to to grow in the world and become rampant, and destroying everything in the world. Uh, uh, and it, it's not because of any personal uh, um, revenge to me personally, but it's doing that overboard throughout all the all the earth. So that is the. The, the spiritual reason number one. The spiritual reason number two is also be, because of my um, level of, of my spiritual understanding and my spiritual ignorance. At the time of the accident, I had just given my life to Jesus. I had, I had just begun my walk with God and I was just beginning to, to, to learn these things. I knew I had the power, my, the power to live a victorious life in Christ Jesus, but I had not begun to practice this thing. Just as you know, the Bible tells us in Hebrews, spiritual maturity comes to those who practice, who practice. So, so everything spiritual really uh, comes to, to those who practice. And I, at the time, I had not really begun to practice, to practice speaking His Word, to practice creating my future, to practice um, walking, in, in, in walking a victorious life. And, and these things do not just come over you uh, when you all of a sudden found out that uh, you, you have victory in Christ Jesus. 
but it, it's things that you grow in, grow in. And at the time the accident happened, as I said, I had just, I was just beginning to grow. So the reason, the last reason that I'm going, that, that, that I'm going to present to you, is that I, I was just simply ignorant. I was spiritually ignorant. I was immature, and, and when this accident happened, and so what's the way forward? I mean, what um, what do I think about? Uh, do I do I think I'm gonna continue to be a wheelchair user uh, forever? Uh, do I be, do I want to walk again? Of course, I believe uh, for for as long as I. I need to, I will be on a wheelchair for as long as I, I have to because of my spiritual growth, because of my, um, because of uh, the growth that I'm going through. Because, see, this thing, this thing happened in time. You see, the Bible talks about when, uh, when that, throughout the generation, there was a promise that Jesus was going to appear on the earth, that there was going to come a Savior that was going to come. A promise, uh, a promised child. Uh, when the angel came to Mary, that it is spoken that it was the right time. It was the time. It was the, a designated time. So there is such a thing in a in in a time of healing as well. That you grow, you get in the word, you 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 you, you exercise so much that there is no other reason to for you, for you not to be healed. Healing will be eminent, and no matter what. So, uh, as um, the promises of the Lord are sure, and Amen. Bible talks about that the word uh, having been released out of God's mouth, it will accomplish those things that it was sent to accomplish. But it needs time. It needs a time to to. It needs time to 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 soak in. To take eminent to recreate to create the things that it was sent for so having said that i believe that i will work again but also i believe that i have a responsibility to, to subject myself to the word of god i have the responsibility to to to, to avail myself to the power of god so that the power of god can do a work in my life so, um, for as long as I need it, I'm going to use the wheelchair. Um, the wheelchair is not my enemy, it's a friend. You know, as much as, as, much as I would love to, um, to get people out of wheelchairs myself, right now I need a wheelchair. And so a wheelchair is a friendly aid. Uh, if I can just tell you a little bit a uh, story. When I was in the, in the hospital after the accident, um, and having been born again for some time and having also been having seen um, uh, televangelists you know just praying for uh, for people and, and really just bringing healing upon them and then really getting out of their wheelchairs and right? also inspired by that life and I, I knew so much I knew that I was gonna one day um, pray for people that they'll be healed they'll get out of their wheelchairs but you see uh, and then the accident happened. Now I'm in the hospital, lying there, and they are they are in, introducing me to the to my new wheelchair. That was that was not very easy for me to take because I had been believing that I'm gonna take out take out people out of wheelchairs. I'm not gonna be riding in it. Understand? So uh, so there was a bit of a of a re, of a rejection uh, from my side of the wheelchair. But I've learned. Uh, to, to to see the wheelchair differently because I need it at the moment. I need it at the moment because I need to go around, I need to move around and and, and it's helping me. So um, as for as long as I need I'm, I need the wheelchair, I'm gonna be on a wheelchair. But I, I also believe that I'm, I, I will walk again. That the word that has been released in my life, prayers of the saints that have play, prayed upon my life, that have prayed for me, that have uh, laid their hands uh, upon me, those things are not going to 
go out in vain. They are not going to just go by in vain. They are going to take eminent. They are going to, uh, the word has been released into my spirit. The word is being released every day into my spirit. My prayers are, 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 are coming before the Lord as the prayers of Cornelius. And they will be as a memorial before him. And it will, there will come a time when my healing will, I mean, my healing is just there. And it, the, 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 it, nothing will stop it from coming to pass. Because so many things have been spoken by God and they have come to pass. So having said that, I hope I have answered that question earlier. I hope I have I've done justice to that question. Why I'm still on the wheelchair, why I am a wheelchair user at the moment. So, um, yeah, so thank you very much for listening. Um, subscribe to our channel, um, Fabi and Eben. Also, um, um, like it if you do. And also share, share and leave a comment down. Uh, so, yeah, ciao.